Good evening, Julian. How is Paris today? Good morning, Max. How is San Francisco today? That's that's a new background you've got here. Where are you again? Where did you travel? I, am, I have moved down the hall. I have my own. We we、oh. we now have a bedroom that's completely free, and I've turned it into an office. So, so you, this is a. You're doing home traveling now. Yes, home traveling. That's exactly right. We, we, we've we've done the commute. Actually, this probably takes twenty steps off. No, ten <laughs> steps off the commute from the bedroom, and adds those ten to the commute from the living room.、So、you manage where I'm coming to、from. create work from home commutes. That is beautiful. Love the concept. <laughs> There's the and then I、commute. shortened them. And <laughs> so I didn't just create them; I shortened them. Uh, uh, perfect.、Um, so I have a couch need. If it's open, I'd love to tell you a story. It's it's something we've not broached before.、Oh. Um, yeah, I got a letter, a physical snail mail letter. I hate、um, it already. Yeah,、uh, and it turns out that I the have you ever heard of PG and E? I'm just curious. There there are utilities company. And they're famous in the U.S. for starting wildfires in California. Just, just a, a <laughs> exactly what a, you, what you want to be、uh, famous for, yeah, right? Yeah, no, these guys are famous for everything you don't want to be famous for. I promise.、Um, so I got this letter stating that、uh, they owed me five hundred dollars, and that there was a check from twenty eighteen that I had never cashed, and you know the form was I, I'm. I'm going to show it. I'm not going to show it up close so anybody can get any details. But it, the, the logos here, there's, you know, that's kind of their look and feel. And there's information there.、Um, so I, you know, I looked at. It, I was kind of like, wow. I don't. Why would PG&E ever have a $500 refund check for me? But okay, who am I to say no to $500? Bucks? So I, I, and the form only asked for my name. Or ask for a signature and my phone number. That was it. There's another. So I'm like, okay, how much? You know, what is this? And it actually up above there's a collections company or a, a funds distribution company that's doing this on behalf of PG&E. So over the PG&E logo, it says this company on behalf of PG&E, and there's a link to a website. <laughs> there is a link to the website in this physical paper. So obviously I couldn't click on that, but I could type it in and go to the、um, go to the website, and it it was cheesy, but it was fairly legitimate. I'm kind of like,、uh, okay, but it just just was kind of a little fishy. At so then I looked point, at if I may. At this point, you have already paid more effort for those five hundred bucks that you ever done for the. Gas can and the ten dollars discount last year. So yeah, and and, and again, five five hundred is what fifty times ten. So it, it, there there's there's the ben the benefit is worth more cost.、Um, and and it, it just but it wasn't that great of a website. It was a little bit weird. So they had their address. I looked at the address and it was a house in Florida, and I'm kind of like. Uh, this is weird. So I ended up calling PG and E.、Uh, they had web call. They had call back. So I got a call back. Very nice. Didn't have to. And this was one I wouldn't want to do through chat or so. I want to talk to somebody about you know is this fraud?、Um, and very hard in the IVR to understand how to get to report fraud. You know, question with your bill. I'm like no, <laughs> but finally got there. Um, talk to the the agent. Very friendly.、Uh, looked through. Said no. You have no five hundred dollar check, and I've never heard of this company.、Uh, but you have solar, so I need to send you to the other people to talk. And I'm like, this was supposedly from 2018. There's no solar、uh, piece possible. I didn't have solar in 2018. And she's like, yeah, but let's just be safe and send you. So all right. So. Short wait in the queue. Got to the person. Explained it didn't. It didn't add that much time.、Um, both agents were very friendly, and、uh, she she confirmed that this was not real, and that this was some sort of a scam. Which is interesting that all they were getting was my phone number,、um, and then 
so now I know to, you know, I've kept this letter just in case. She said she would report this from the fraud department to the fraud department and somebody may get back to me. Um, so that really, it's a short story. I got a letter that was, you know, convincing enough to get me to fill in the form and start addressing an envelope before I went, you know, and eventually it did turn out to be fraud. And thank God I stopped before it got there. I, I kind of feel bad for you here because I don't know how you missed that opportunity. Just last year, I've inherited from like 15 different Nigerian princes. <laughs> um, and all they wanted was for me to pay the taxes. And I, I, I mean, I'm still waiting for the money. Well, to okay, cash in, so, but... so, okay, so now we're back to the $10 versus 500. That was 50,000 or a million dollars. This is 500. So exactly uh all right so look look i i it we need to take it through a slightly different angle because it's not our usual story here um yes but what i'm hearing leaving this scam itself aside which by the way is pretty smart i've never heard of people trying to put it in your actual physical mailbox they are trying to give you a slightly different scammer experience which is interesting we probably could have a yep. different couch for that um, but from a company perspective, I mean, there are a few things that were not fantastic. First, I would expect, at least I'm seeing that in France, those big brands that are used to be used for by scammers, they tend to have this ads on their website, which is sad because they could probably use the space for something else, but that, at least saying, hey, these days you may receive emails from people claiming they are us, but pay attention to this, 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 to make sure this is us. I see banks doing that. I see um, uh, OVH, which is kind of a, a competitor of Amazon Cloud uh, in Europe, mm -hmm. doing this very often. I see those big companies doing that because they know there are scammers, scammers out there. I, Unless those utilities guys are never targeted um, by to scammers. The to the contrary, one of the things I did was a couple of just web searches and there was a ton about PG&E and scams. So they are, it, it is a very common place to scam. Then then it's kind of weird, first, not to have a hotline dedicated to that. Second, not to have some space on your website to talk about it. Third, not to have something within your IVR to make it simple. And, and fourth, I know that was not the topic today, but transfer, really? I mean, you are not talking to the right agent. I need to transfer you. D didn't you recognize my phone number in the first place? Couldn't you just send me to the right person to start with? I, uh, no, it was, it, was, it was worse than that. It was one person didn't have all the answer. Mm. It wasn't that I went to the wrong person. It was that because I had solar, I had to talk to two different departments you know, it's the same thing we talk about over and over and over, right? It, okay. It's silos. So, well, I interesting story, because if we if we try to see on what could have been done differently here, I mean, you've said the word silos. <laughs> Let's start here. Let's scale silos. Right. Even, right. even if you have two ERPs and five CRMs, which definitely is a mistake by design, uh, there are ways to make sure your people are educated uh, sufficiently to navigate through them and Probably you should change your CRMs at some point, but uh, at the very least, one agent should be able to answer all questions around one specific topic or area. You, sh you should not have to talk to two different ones for one question. And I, th and I, th I think that really ties back to your previous thing. Because I get I, what I got from the agent I talked to was, I'll use the phrase, abundance of caution. And, um, you know, she wanted to be very careful and make very sure that I'd covered all bases, which is fine. But what she said before, here's our fraud hotline. Those are the people that should have access to everything. And those people would be expert and they would know what to do. And when, and, you know, I clearly, the person, neither of the people I talked to spent much time on fraud and, you know, they said they'd refer me to the fraud group. Why, why don't the fraud group have people who can answer the phone and talk it through? It, it, they're losing a lot there. 2022 is a new year, so let's try to look differently. Let's try to look at the positive side. At least they did not ask you to call a different number. They transferred you, which is not yes. as bad as please don't bug us and call someone else. So there was that, um, and there was uh, the, the fact that it is probably not that complicated. If you have a team, 
dedicated to that. And you probably should if you care about your customer's well-being. And not just customers. I mean, customers are the obvious target, but uh, there, there could be other potential customers that could be used as a target here uh, through fake promotional offers or whatever. Uh, you may want to have some dedicated, easy to find space. And if it's not on your website directly, you probably should have something as simple as a forum. I mean, I understand yeah. we're in 2022, but still forums are a thing. Um, and a good thing because um, they tend to be SEO optimized, meaning that if you search on Google, is that a scam followed by the name of the company? Chances are you're gonna find hundreds of people who got the exact same mail in their box talking about it and sharing their experience. So, why don't you have that? Because if you do have that, you probably don't even need to do much work. Your customers are going to do it for you by answering each other. And, and I searched in Google and did not find something like that. Um, now, I searched, I was looking for things like my particular scam. So there were some other discussions on other, you know, email scams and things like that. I'm just like, no, that's not what I have. Maybe if I'd gone to one of those, there would have been a forum like that. But shame on them. That should have been something when I searched that popped up right away. So how how do you feel about it now? I mean, are you disappointed because you didn't get your 500 or are you actually kind of happy that you did not get scammed in the end? Uh, both. I, I, you know, $500 is $500. That would have been a, you know, a couple of nice nights out to dinner. Um, and... Uh, but on the other hand, I'm really glad I, you know, probably if I had sent that in, I don't think the person calling me could have socially engineered any real information out of me, maybe, but I like to think I, I, my, my hackles were up. I don't think it would have gone anywhere. I don't think they would have, you know, it's not hard for somebody to find my phone number. You can go to my LinkedIn profile and it's there. So it's not like they were getting anything just from that. Uh, but. I'm just glad I didn't fall for it. And, you know, I, I feel smart because I, I stopped it at step one, even though I filled in the form before I stopped it at step one. So here's what we're going to do, Max. Uh, I'm going to see you next week to talk about a different story. But before that, I'm going to send you, put you in touch with a couple of Nigerian princes that may help you finding more money and inherit for you know, some other people are there and then, and then you can share that story later next week. That sounds good. And I hear those guys have some pretty trying circumstances. So it'd be nice to be able to help them. So many plane get crashes. To what's right in this for exactly. All right. Perfect. I'm, I'm glad you're willing to help. Have a beautiful week. Thank you so much for sharing your story today, Max. And uh, I will talk to you next week. Sounds great. Thanks, Julian. Bye.